You know, every once in a while, I've been given a comment that I'm forced to just sit down, read, and tilt my head at. Whether because of information that's brought up to me that make me see something in a new light, or that it's so baffling that I struggle to imagine what the person behind the screen looks like. <laughs> So hello, you beautiful people! I'm Skull Common, and today we're looking at a comment I got a little bit ago. I know it's a little bit old, but considering that my dear MatPat video blew up, I feel as though I should bring this comment to light, because this is something that I think needs to be talked about. That being said, I will not be displaying the username, nor will I show his icon, since I don't want anyone to harass or go after this person. And apparently, this guy's got some beef with me. Normally, I don't do this, but considering that the length of this comment, that this message was left to me, I feel like actually responding in this in video format. I did this a while ago on my twit longer, but considering the fact that I want to just do something simple for this video, here we go. Dear Manga Kamen, I am writing this to bring up some points I have issue with your commentary videos in the past dealing with MatPat. I assure you that I'm not saying this is out of fanboyism, as there are a number of theories of his I don't agree with, but your actions concern me as a viewing YouTuber. You know, I'm gonna say this outright. Whenever someone opens up to me by saying I'm not a fanboy or something akin to that, especially when it comes to MatPat, I'm kind of wary of it. But contrary to what people think, I don't automatically assume that everyone who has an issue with my videos concerning MatPat is a fanboy. I'm human. Shocking of all shocks, I know. I can make mistakes too. The only reason I would think you are a fan, Brad, if you brought up the dread, it's just a theory defense. Now, normally I wouldn't interject with something like this, but however, with what he says throughout the entire comment, I have to say this right now. Ugh. I picked the wrong time to give up my cherry vodka slammers. Because your style is very reminiscent of the commentary community back in 2011-2012, that I distanced myself from them for it. What? No, seriously. What? I remind you of the commentary community back in those days. How? Seriously, I am actually curious about this, as I will soon debunk some of the points that he brings up. I would love to see how I'm actually reminiscent of the CC of that time. I'm not even associated with the commentary community right now. I consider myself more of an independent commentator. And hell, people like Boonslayer have even said that I don't consider myself as a member of the CC. I will be bringing up points that have me look at you with scrutiny enough to view your work in a bad light. But I'm telling you this to help improve yourself. But of course, that decision is left to you in the end if you take these criticisms and make changes, or ignore me, continue on your way, and we'll never speak again. And I welcome the criticism, only if it's valid though. Otherwise... I will start by dealing with a point in your commentary on MatPat's video on Phoenix Wright, as when it came up, I shut the video off as it came off as a dishonest debate tactic. And that was you bragging about having studied law. So? Me saying that I actually studied law is dishonest? Me giving my background on the subject is now a dishonest tactic? I thought it was a means of giving my audience a little insight as to what my experience is with the field. Then, by that logic, what MatPat is doing is dishonest as well, as he brings up the fact that he's referred to an unnamed attorney in the video and proclaimed himself to be an expert of Japanese and American law. As Nick Morgan, screw your YouTube name, said, what does it have to do with the price of fish? His point is that just because you have experience doesn't give you any more credence in the argument than one who didn't study law. It is more of a matter of what we read and how we educate ourselves. You know, it was at this point that I scratched my head, then my butt, then my head again. This first point of yours ignores the context of why I brought up my background in the field of law, since Matt Pat described Phoenix Wright as a paralegal, which he's not. Paralegals can't practice law, while they are trained to be educated on the law, so because I use my experience as a law student in some very basic search engines to find it, to probably explain why Matt Pat's description of Phoenix Wright is wrong, that's dishonest. Considering that Matt Pat couldn't be bothered to look up the definition of a paralegal yet used to describe Phoenix Wright, he was already demonstrating that he doesn't know much about the field, yet made the claim that he was an expert in it. In fact, he says this in the video if he actually paid attention. And of course, for a more astute person, all it did was open up a large amount of questions to ask such as, What's cool? Did you study federal or state law? If you studied state, which state? How many years? What year did you study state law? Etc. What's cool? That doesn't matter. Did I study federal or state law? Doesn't matter. If you studied state, which state? I think you know the answer, people. Considering the fact you didn't bother to watch the rest of the video, if you did, you'd actually realize something. I barely go over the actual physical laws in the real world and just focus on the laws of Phoenix Wright. Just because you have these questions doesn't mean jack squat. Even then, if you wanted to know, you could have asked in a comment. Unlike being a tanker, such statements put a lot more pressure on you to make sure your statements are true and accurate. Which, considering all the holes in these questions open up, will put some doubt to the accuracy and validity of your views, especially years as new laws are put in and old ones are removed or forgotten. 
You know, I really hate repeating myself, but I already demonstrated simple examples of me knowing more about the field than MatPat. And as I said, how the hell would you know what my views are in the video? You said you didn't watch it. As when it came up, I shut the video off. Even then, the same could be applied to MatPat since he claimed that he talked to a legal expert, yet never named the attorney in his video nor gave credit to throughout the video and then stated he was an expert. Why is it okay for him, but I'm the dishonest one when I say I have experience in the field and actually studied law? Also, to explain why doing so as a dishonest debate tactic... Oh, finally, here we go. Like I said, making such statements puts more weight on you than someone who doesn't. This episode, I became an expert in both American law and Japanese law. Because it better mean you know what you are talking about, where the specific errors are, and explaining why they are wrong. But by doing so, you also went, MatPat didn't study law, and thus listening to him over me is foolhardy, type of argument that would make any less observant person just take your word without questioning you to make sure that you are saying is accurate and only highlighting the mistakes or omissions in MatPat's video. <sighs> like I said, Matt. Pat makes the same claim. He claims he's a master of Japanese and American law. He even brought in a nameless attorney to help him. Also, for the third and final time, I did prove that he didn't know what he was talking about when he described what Phoenix Wright was. A paralegal. Or did you just not listen to... Oh, wait. As when it came up, I shut the video off, but considering you run your commentary through the whole video instead of getting to the actual points where he is wrong, and then explaining why he is wrong... How the bloody hell would you know? Remember? As when it came up, I shut the video off. You said straight up in your comment that you shut off the video at that point. So how the hell would you know what I said after that? So either you're lying through your teeth or you're talking out your butt. And frankly, no, I didn't run through his whole video. I did skip parts. That's why there's a skip screen. Hell, considering the fact that my video is 12 minutes and 53 seconds long and Matt Pat's original video is 15 minutes and 40 seconds long, that is completely wrong. My video is shorter than his. You act like you're a nostalgia critic with someone's life, more on entertaining a demagogue at someone's expense, and less about correcting mistakes. Well, Apparently someone's never watched my videos before. As to your argument to MatPat's dead or alive board video section where you call him a sexist based on information from TV tropes of all places. WARNING! BULLSHITTER ALERT! That's a... that's a big claim there, pal. I called MatPat sexist? Now I know you're not even trying here. First of all, you're misrepresenting what I said cuz I know exactly what you're talking about here. And not once did I claim MatPat was sexist. I said he didn't know how to properly show his sources and making claims without evidence. The clip you're referring to is this. What about female DOA players? Wait, do those exist? Even though if you actually took two minutes to look online, some of the more top professional players who do play DOA 4 are female. I'm not gonna say that this is sexism, but damn sure shows what whoever was in charge of this script didn't know what the hell they were doing. I'm not gonna say this is sexism, but... So, congratulations! You have effectively lied and attempted to slander me and misconstrued what I said. I never called Matt Pat a sexist, and in fact, I said the opposite. It was dumb, but I wouldn't say it's sexist. I did my own research research on their claim with the information they provided. Out of the top 400 highest earning female players, only 14 play DOA 4, making the total percentage not the three-fifths 60% they want to claim. But 3.5% of the total number of highest earning female players played the game. Also note how I kept pointing out that these were the highest earning female players. So this list is still flawed and incomplete to even be used in your arguments that MatPat is sexist which in itself is a bold claim when you cut your clip off right before he asks to know if video game gamers do play the game. I have no idea what you're going on about because I do play that clip. I'd, what about female DOA players? Wait, do those exist? And I never said he was sexist. In fact, what you just said doesn't debunk what I actually said, which what I said is that MatPat didn't do any research to see if there were any DOA professional players. It doesn't matter how many there are, if there are some, then they do exist. Congratulations. I'm sure some of the law background since yourself knows how severe misquoting, aka slandering someone is. Iron. Me. Because for someone who would be curious of such data such as myself, this only told me 14 out of the 400 highest earning female players played DOA 4. However, it did not tell me the total of all female players who did play the game. 
but they don't tell me just how many female players there were, compared to the total number of players of both genders that played the game, making the entire statistic argument in you and the person you are quoting completely flawed and incomplete. That makes both of your arguments invalid and show a direct sign of dishonest, underhanded tactics that are in play. With these missing pieces of information in mind, it paints you and your souls as having a personal agenda against MatPat rather than legitimately pointing out mistakes just by tossing random numbers around without putting them in proper context. You know, I find it ironic that you're lecturing me on context when you just cut out a whole bunch of context and didn't understand what I even was going for. Since that has nothing to do with what I said, what you're doing is shifting the point and ignoring what I actually claimed. MatPat didn't do any research and asked if any female DOA players existed. A simple Google search would answer that, and he couldn't be bothered to look that up. That was my point. But numbers without context are like politicians. Quite useless and untrustworthy. Military history visualized YouTube German Tank Division World War II organization and structure visualization. I do agree. You're ignoring the context of what I said. And as I said, you got this from TV tropes of all places. For someone who apparently studied law, I would have thought you would know better than to use a site that can be viewed as everything wrong about Wikipedia increased exponential to the 1,000th power. Yeah, let's just ignore my point was actually correct on the matter and how you're misconstruing everything that I've said. There's a lot of what we know know to be true, which is true only because we saw on mass media, or because you're on a web forum and someone else said something. You assume that it is correct. It is the truth by common knowledge and unfortunately Wikipedia is terrible for that. Okay, first of all, there are sources on Wikipedia that you can go to to get correct information. I can view it as more of a starting point to find things. But you know, I just love how you keep flinging quotes at me, but when it comes to what I've actually said, you're fine with just pulling stuff out of your butt. You will never find this anymore, but I saw the author of a fanfic. This was on his fanfix TV trope page, verbally burned someone for accusing him not doing his research by pointing out and linking images to counter his accusation, which backed up that he did his research and the accuser was misinformed. Which, if you look in my video description, I listed my sources, unlike MatPat who never does. Just one look of his videos would tell you this. And yes, while I did use TV tropes as a reference, I also brought up professional esports and that show that female DOA players existed. What is your point? Showing that much like Wikipedia, anyone can put whatever they want up. Unlike Wikipedia, TV Tropes does not have a quality control on the accuracy of what gets put up. And here I am quoting from someone about their view of TV Tropes dealing with Kanatai Collection's characters. Except it wasn't my only source and you're arguing a statement that I've never made. If you want me to take your argument seriously and understand your stance, I suggest you make sure your sources that you are using are accurate, reliable, and put the appropriate context that they belong to. Unless you want your work to be compared to when Relic Entertainment pulled the quote of Marshall Valesky out of context. IRONY! What the hell am I trying for? You're not even going to listen to this and you're probably going to think I'm calling you a sexist. Oh really, from your video where I got this information about DOA from, you seem to be focusing your anger on the wrong source. It isn't MatPat you have an issue with, it's the people that take his theory and videos too seriously, and you have a problem with. And instead of telling people what a theory is and what they shouldn't take his videos as fact, you attack MatPat in a manner that makes you come off as someone jumping on the bandwagon of out of hate out of a sense of fanboyism rather than making sound arguments like Metatron, Shadversity, and Skelligrim against MatPat's video, who would win, Samurai, Knight, or Viking? Where they tackle what he got wrong by attacking the argument, not the person. So, you've never actually sat down and watched my commentaries about MatPat in full. I can say this with full confidence. And they drop fairly regularly. They're not rare by any means. And across Gen 3 and Gen 4, they're still around. But now fast forward to Generation 5 and 6, which are confirmed as the latest dates in the Pokemon timeline. Now, all of a sudden, the item descriptions talk about how rare these items are. Interesting, no? E I guess if we look at the actual item definition, oh wait, look here! It says, and I quote, a berry to be used in cooking. This berry is very rare and hard to obtain in the Unova region. Notice something? Notice how the Gen 6 games that take place in Kalos and Hoenn state that the berry's hard to find in a different region, not their region. You're not putting in the full details here, Matt. And it's something that's kind of giving me an aneurysm. You have not. You have no idea that I actually use the lore from the games that he covers against him to point out when he blatantly ignores facts that go against what he says. That is what I do. I play the games, I look at the information, and I scrutinize. Am I a fan of the games he covered? No, duh. But you're making so many claims that I hate the guy that I call him a sexist, and your own arguments are as faulty as you're making mine out to be. 
While I have made slight pot shots at Matt in the past, they are not attacks. And if you think jokes are attacks, then I have to wonder what kind of person I'm dealing with here. I've gone after his arguments. Clearly, pretty much all the time. One look at the videos that I have will show that. But like I said, your format of commentating is very reminiscent as to what made me distance myself from the commentary community back in 2012. A toxic community that was more interested in bringing people down, even those within their own community, rather than correcting people to be better. After this whole comment of yours, I feel like you're projecting onto me. You misquoted what I said, you demonized me, you never actually addressed what my actual arguments are, and you essentially strawmanned me. And it is because your style reminds me of that that I have no interest in looking at you or your associates' works. Because if you can show the same negative traits a community had five, six years ago at a random stranger, then what's going to make me not think that you're willing to do the same thing for your fellow YouTubers in the same communities that you're already in? I'm not in the commentary community. I have no interest to be in it. And you have no idea what you're talking about about. I've clearly demonstrated that. The one who's showing off the negative traits of what the community was like in those years ago is you! It's one thing to disagree with a theory that has no true weight to it in the first place, without a confirmation from the original creators, but it's another thing to attack a person, and that is what that disgusts me about your videos and why they remind me of the commentary community that was like five or six years ago. It was at this point that I was dealing with one of those people, a person who claims one thing but does another. Throughout this entire comment message, the one doing the attacking wasn't me. And apparently from how your commentary videos are like, the community obviously hasn't learned a damn thing from its past. And screw you. And come for me, those are words I don't use lightly. Go screw yourself. You never watched one of my videos in full. You never bothered to see what I was saying. You accused me of calling MatPat sexist and only going after me because I'm one of the highest sub people in the CC, even though I'm not in the CC. I legitimately shook my head at this comment. If there's one person who hasn't learned a damn thing, it would be the person who took the time to act like a condescending jerk. I don't normally get angry at these kinds of comments, but when you start to misquote and then use that as a means to say that I'm attacking someone, that's when the kid gloves are off. Missing the point of what I've said, misquoting me, and even going so far to make claims that are completely false. I take these in stride most of the time, water on my beak as it were. So so what prompted me to share this and explain why this guy's points are wrong? I want to point out that this is a stigma. I've talked about how people have taken others out of context in order to make their points seem valid. And it's been happening for me a lot. I don't know if it's because I'm getting a lot of growth as of late, but it's something I've been seeing a lot recently. If you have to warp the argument to where it's no longer the original statement, that's intellectually dishonest in the way you can lose credibility really quickly. It's a disease that's coming over YouTube. And I, for one, hate that. I'm Skullcommon, and remember to examine your fandom. Live on!